It's tabletop time. time. I am Jazza. I am Dave. And we are about to battle. It's the eve. Twas the. Twas the eve. Before, twas the night before. It's not the night before. We're going to do a big hundred k celebration battle that we've been building up to for a long time. Yes. I tried to. But I, first, we must find a battlefield. The wonderful patrons voted on the map, and the winner is. Give me a drum roll. This one. I think the reason people like it as well, and some of the things I, some of the comments I saw, commented on it looking like clouds, which then got the old tickers running, and we're talking about making cloud terrain. You know the thumbnail and title of this video, it's not a surprise <laughs> at this point. Why am I revealing that? So in this video, we're gonna make terrain for our battle, which will happen, will be happening later this week. So this is clear acrylic, and we have a laser cutter. So the theory then is, using a combination of laser cut, clear acrylic, and uh, cotton wool balls that we sort of tr stretch and tuft out and texturize, mm -hmm. we could create, and this was the sort of first thing I have in mind, and then I'll just draw a simple version of it, right? So we have a clear acrylic top, and we create a stand, and then that way we can have, we can create different shape platforms, and we can have different height stands. You have sort of like an overhang, where you like can a sort fur of, coat. You wisp out trim. the edges, yeah. All of the clouds have more of an organic look that don't end in plastic. You would glue on the edges and make yep. it look more cloud-like. We're gonna dabble together today and you and Rob are gonna continue this same video into tomorrow where you're gonna make all the terrain. So we're gonna make a few test pieces to test the validity of our theory. The other thing we wanna play around with, which we haven't decided how we're gonna go about it, is landmass. The idea being, let's say this is a piece of terrain, you could have like a multi-platformed or just like a few little mountainous things sticking up out of the cloud. I pictured it like Pandora, them sort of floating. Okay. Whereas you sort of pictured, you mentioned the idea of them being mountains coming up from the ground. But I think if we have this as cloud, like that's far down below, these are clouds. It might not make sense to have full mountains. So how I'd picture it, I'll just, oh, I'm getting in on the drawing. So what I was thinking is I've drawn um, a line in between each because of the realism of using foam, right? Yep. You're gonna have have yep. layers. So I was thinking is more, we do that and then you can just glue just a straight acrylic sheet in the middle, which you can then glue all of your cotton wool around like a layer of cloud that the, that the mountain is peeking through. And then like, sort of like the mountain top coming up through. He wants floating islands. I have a potential bridging bridging point between the two concepts. We could have a mountain that represents the demons coming up from the earth. So they have to be physically connected to the ground. Volcano. So a volcano. Volcano, yeah, okay. Perfect. And then we can also use some sprays to um, tint that smoke. We could actually make smoke and like blackened soot in the clouds around yeah. the volcano. So yeah. it looks really evil. Yeah. So we could have two small floating islands that have the angelic relics on them that the demons have to fly to. All right, let's cut some acrylic. He's a juicy boy. Three. It's, it's tabletop. The middle of already, the video, yeah, so doing? let's jump straight into it. You've got we have, We've got some that you here. We can unpeel together. Enjoy those brief moments of fingerprint-free acrylic. Yeah, <laughs> this it all it all goes downhill from here. Oh my god, is that not just gorgeous? Oh no, there's already a fingerprint. Ruined it. I mean, how cool does that look? It's really exciting. It's very well made. It's very well done. Um, kudos. Well done, Jeremy. Round of applause for Jeremy. Uh, our in-house uh, CAD modeler who <laughs> learnt to CAD model since working here. Oh, good. Is this is this satisfying <laughs> to you? Sort of it seeing what you what you scratched together. Oh my god! That cool. Wow, that's quite effective, isn't it? I feel like we shouldn't glue anything. The stand, but I feel like we should glue the top. I don't know if hot glue and acrylic is effective at all, but I feel like if anything's gonna adhere it. 
this is probably a pretty effective way of doing it. Because we're gonna generally sort of cover the top a little bit anyway. Here, you do yours. What about super glue? Yeah, what about super glue? Shall we give it a go? Then we, it's, this is our trial. When applying super glue, don't get it on your fingies. That's all. <laughs> That's my sage wisdom. I feel like hot glue makes a lot of sense because of how this is gonna attach. How is it gonna attach? Well, maybe we do the double trial. Okay. How are we All right, attaching let's see. The... We're doing, okay, you're the glue man on the hot. Dave's just the glue man on the hot glue man. <laughs> That's much more. I exciting. just clued into what I was saying. Hey, I was whoa, on the whoa, second, whoa. And I'm like, I can use this. Whoa. What? I'm the super glue man. <laughs> it's a battle. Bitches. Who can glue hot cotton most effectively to a acrylic? I'm gonna say that. The advantage goes to hot glue gun. Me too, which is why I chose hot glue. Drama. It's haunted. So here we go. Oh man, look at... That's cute. Keep going, you're doing real well. Yours does look slightly more depressed and synth like slim and distressed. Well maybe... Look at that, look at that bountiful cloud coverage versus that we're comparing cloud thickness. Oh, yeah. oh, you know what it should be? Spray adhesive. Bit of, bit of spray adhesive, bit of wispies. Stick them in. Because then you so, sort of cover the surface and they're not. it's not going to go anywhere. And I might cloud up the surface, but they're friggin' clouds. Is clouding up a cloud a problem? No, I say, dear viewer and Dave. I mean, come on, that looks cool. Don't give me that face, that looks cool. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I don't think that looks cool. That looks cool. Let's combine it. Fuck, you do yours and I'll do mine. Okay. So I feel like maybe this is where like we hairspray. Oh, I think you're gonna like flick me. Goes to I'm show giving you the ASMR cotton wool ball experience. I don't get. I don't get ASMR. You don't get. I've the tried. Doodles. I've really tried. I feel like I need some scissors. Oh, darling, you look fabulous. So while Dave's doing that, I'll show you guys this. We just cut this with a hot knife out of just X. Is it XPS foam? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I believe so. I think most of the terrain will be cut out of this, and I believe you and Rob were gonna just texture it with a mix of like grout mix, tile grout, uh, and some paint and stuff. And that's how we'll get some of our floating islands. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Well, there you go. Look at this. It's somewhat more zhuzhed. I haven't had time to fully zhuzh. Yours looks better. Screw you. I uh, look forward to seeing how you and Rob go, and I can't wait to see you on the battlefield. That's the next time. Copy all of this and just do it on mine. That's all right. That's what's going to happen. We learn from each other. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Don't look so defeated. So following on from what Jazza had shown me, I quickly dived into trying to frame and build those uh, floating islands that we would be using to represent the angelic side of the table. Uh, we also knew that we were going to build some kind of mountain or volcano rising out from the ground that would be where the demons would spawn. So we went into it building two floating islands and the one volcano. While I was doing the foam, Rob, you began to do something. What were you working on? So I was working on the floating clouds in the scenery. We went about taking cotton wool buds and unfurling them, unfolding them and fluffing them up a little bit. Worked around the base of the acrylic stands to give it an, like the underneath side a bit of a fluff and then worked around the edges and then on the top and built it up. And as you can see in the result, it kind of works quite well. Uh, and it also looks really good if the light catches it just right. So I mixed up a combination of just playground sand and also some sort of masonry dye. It's kind of used for what um, tilers uh, use to change the color of their grout. So I mixed that up into a big paste and kind of slopped it all over the model, uh, these foam pieces, which gave it a really even texture.
Once that had dried, it, the pigment allowed me to sort of utilize that as a base coat so I could race into dry brushing that as well. As well as that, we used liberal amounts of Gamer Grass's amazing uh, stick on shrubbery. We printed these sort of acrylic semicircles and rough shapes that the idea was that we could attach them to the foam and create wispy clouds that you could still use as part of the game. So I went for it. And uh, at one point, disaster struck. No! What? It fell. That's disappointing. But um, Rob came up with the idea of using bits of spare acrylic to basically stab it into the foam and create supporting rafts, which was a fantastic idea. And once we'd done that, Rob helped me put in those bits of acrylic. We fluffed them out with some uh, uh, some more of that cotton wool and it started to tie those uh, island elements in. Now there's one piece that I hadn't talked about much and that was the 3D print secret that Jazza doesn't know about. He We printed on his machine, but he actually hasn't seen it. And I think it came out amazing. It is from the Greek gods, Heroes Infinite Patreon. Uh, they release a bunch of STL files every month. Completely not sponsored. I'm just a personal uh, lover of their work and I'm, uh, I'm a patron of theirs. We have this really cool thing that just sells it to me as the angel's base. So when we play the game, we've got this lovely little respite of heavenly architecture up on the floating island. Um, we chucked in some Gamer Grass scatter scenery as well. And I painted that really simply because it's terrain, just with base coat, dry brush uh, and a wash, and then a bit of a dry brush again. And altogether, I'm pretty happy with the result. You're back? I'm back. You've left us today all alone to Completely work on our projects. Unsupervised. Rob's come in and been a big help. Yeah. He was really jumped it's into good, it and fun. did a great job. Awesome. Um, and we went slightly over time. But I'm we got dead curious done. what you three printed. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Shall we reveal Let's the terrain it. for our battle? Yes. Da, 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 da. Whoa, that's it? so well that's what i 3d printed that looks fucking incredible right <laughs> oh my god so that's the angel's base and you've got like the gradient of like Hype. stuff well well done uh but this is where the piece ends because it's about this we'll handshake one last time oh. okay because the next time we're gonna handshake is after our battle you know the pre-game thing he's bigger than me he's he's broader than me he's stronger than me in every measure he's got me beat but um, I think that's it. I think I've got good on my side. You're all making the rules. That's right. <laughs> so, so I have the ultimate power to completely absolutely. corrupt the game in my favor. And do you know what? I, no, matter, no matter who wins or loses, we're all winners. See, on the battlefield, that's the last time we do that until we fight to the death. Now kiss. Do you, Rob? And that's where we end. Do, is it? <laughs> Oh, we like getting into Mortal Kombat posters. I'm feeling it. Can we just put the credits just here, please? Yeah. The patron scroll. Patron scroll. Hey, thanks, patrons. Thanks, guys. Wow, what Can supportive you, let's people. Box it. Look, look how we're what holding up the patron people? scroll. I like this one. My favorite is all of them. Well, okay. That was I'm really hoping that 20 they don't of put it on <laughs> <remaining one. laughs> yeah. You're like, I like this one. It's Rob. <laughs> oh, this one's my favorite. It's Rob. Can you edit out? I, li I like this one. Yeah. You're all right. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. I told it.